Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple logic chip system so that your solar panel will track the sun from sunup to sundown. So, you're going to need a few different things. First thing you're going to need is a daylight sensor attached to a vertical wall facing the direction the sun is rising, like so. Solar uh, daylight sensor actually requires a little bit of power, so make sure it is connected to a power outlet. Now, you're also going to need a lot of red cable, two logic IOs, a logic processor, and a logic memory. All this can be made in the electronics printer. So, first thing you want to do is place down your logic memory, like so. Next thing you want to grab is your logic processor. Make sure it's selected on mat unit, and you can place it here. Next thing, you're going to want to place your logic IOs. Make sure one of the logic IOs is your logic reader. And the other one is your batch writer. Now I've actually placed that a little too close to that wire. Oh no, it should work actually. I'm just going to have to make a small adjustment there. Now, you're going to want to make sure that everything is connected to everything else. Now there's a few ways you can do this. We're going to use a very simple method. It's called a looping method. So it'll look like a lot of connecting circles. Like so. And as you can see, everything is connected to everything else. However, I missed one that left, but here. It's going to need our wire cutters. Do -do -do. Drop that in there. And now that's all connected up. So you can do it a little bit neater than this if you wish. Actually, missed one more outlet up here. You can do it a lot more neater. You just have to make sure that the memory is connected to the mat unit, that the mat unit is connected to the logic reader and the memory, and it's also connected to the batch writer. And you must make sure that it's connected to the solar panel and the daylight sensor as well. So just make sure that your wires are connecting all the ports in one giant loop. Data will flow on the red cables, so will power. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is take out your screwdriver. <coughs> and if you go to your memory, this is going to be the first thing that you adjust. Your solar panel tracks the sun through 100 points of movement. The daylight sensor tracks it through 180. So we're going to divide 100 into 180. That gives us 1.8. So we're going to put 1.8 on the memory. You hold down left out, you can get decimals. There we go. Now, next one we're going to want to set is the logic reader. We're going to want to make sure that it's connected to the daylight sensor on the input. The variation will be the solar angle. Next one you're going to want to set is your mat unit. You're going to want to make sure that the first input is from the logic reader. The second input is from the logic memory and you're going to want to put divide on the output. So it's now dividing the solar angle by the, by the memory, and that will tell the batch writer down here if we set it to logic mat, solar panel 
and on the output, vertical. So what will happen there now is the memory, uh, the solar angle will be divided by the memory, and that will tell the solar panel to move 1% for every 1.8 degrees of movement on the daylight sensor. However, we need to switch it on also. So if you hit all these buttons up here, Ah, <laughs> and switch on the area power control. And now you have green lights on all your chips. And as you can see, your solar panel is slowly tracking the sun. So let's recap one more time. Memory, 1.8. Logic reader is set to the daylight sensor and the solar angle. The mat unit is reading the logic reader on the first, the memory on the second, and on the output, it is set to divide. Here, the output is set to solar panel. The output variation is vertical. And the input is coming from the logic mat. If anybody wants to take a screenshot, now is the time. Thanks for watching.